There are many different facilities within the program to allow you to book income and expenditure. Let's start by looking at income bookings. So in this screen you would select your money account and you can have any number of different money accounts set up. Enter in a reference, a paying in slip number or a bank reference number and also the total and any additional references. Each transaction that you enter will have an effective date which will default to today or can be changed to any date in the past within an open month. Then you would enter the analysis of the income. So here we have £750 from a grant and £300 from sponsorship. Donations are covered in a separate demonstration video. You can book to the same fund or to different funds. After your booking, here is an example of the income and expenditure report and you can clearly see the income we have just entered. There is also an option to enter multiple income bookings, which is mainly used when you have a single bank paying in slip for multiple incomes that you have received. In this case, the bank paying in slip number goes in the receipt reference and then enter in the total. Then enter the income analysis, which can be to multiple accounts and funds. In normal inquiry against the bank account, you can easily view your transactions and you can also drill down into each transaction to view more information by double clicking on the asterisk column on the right hand side. Moving on to multiple expenditure bookings. So this allows you to book all your expenses at one time. So you could do a whole month's worth of expenses in one go. So you'd have an overall total at the top here and your expense analysis and different effective dates at the bottom and this can be to different funds. The payment reference would be how it's paid, for example, online, transfer or cheque, and then who you are paying will go in the expenditure reference. There is also a facility to allow you to store a template of your regular payments, for example, your direct debits for gas, electricity, rent, etc. And this can be recalled and booked with the correct values when needed. In normal inquiry, you can view all your income and expenditure and you can narrow down what you can see by using the transactions dates between or by using the type column to select the type of transactions you want to view. Another valuable tool in the software is expenditure distribution. This is used to distribute existing expenditure through to different funds. It may be for utilities that are booked to the general fund, the gas bill for example, then say monthly or quarterly, you can distribute the expense from the general fund across other funds. In this example, I am splitting some expenditure that was booked to the general fund to the youth and education funds. Journal bookings are usually used for account adjustments or in this example, to move money from the bank account into petty cash, which isn't an income or expenditure booking. Journals are just used for adjusting values from one account to another. Another useful tool is fund transfers. This allows you to easily move money between your bank or cash accounts from one fund to another. So in this example, I am moving 1,500 within the bank account from the general fund to the youth fund to enable them to buy a new sound system. We have a special program for this because interfund transfers need to be declared in your charity commission year end return. Bank reconciliation is something that you would do on a regular basis. Select your money account you wish to reconcile and the point you wish to reconcile up to. This could be the end of a month or a particular date. Let's select the end of May. Enter the balance from your bank statement at the top and click on confirm. This will bring down all your unreconciled entries up to the date entered. Click on change and as you see the entries on your bank statement, double click in the recon column to reconcile them. You are looking to end up with a difference of zero. If it's not, 
then you have either made a mistake or missed something out. If you notice that an existing transaction has an incorrect value or date, then you can amend it on the fly by double clicking in the asterisk column. That completes the presentation on account bookings. Thank you for watching.